We're going to make a homework tracker using Google Sheets. And so the first thing you need to do is create a new Google Sheet. And if you download the Google Sheet uh, app link from the web store, you'll see it here where you could load it as an extension. Click on Google Sheets or go to Google Sheets. Make sure you're logged on to Google Chrome and create a new blank sheet. Now, what we're going to do is create a sheet that is a homework tracker essentially that has the date here, the week here, so weeks in each term and we're just going for 10 weeks for this term and for the period of the day and each day at school. So it's going to be uh, pretty straightforward and so you just need to first of all name this so just click up here and and homework tracker. Okay, and so the first few cells are going to be these this row is going to be telling us what we're filling in or telling the user what they're filling in. So this one will be date, this one will be the week, this one will be the period and these will be the days of the week. Now we're going to fix them so if you select them and go view and freeze the, that row uh, it will be frozen so if you scroll up and down you can see it's scrolling up and down um, they won't move. What you need to do is make sure that you change your preferences uh, so you're in Australia uh, instead of America or the UK. So if you go to the spreadsheet settings and um, just change the location to Australia and that's plus 10 GMT and we'll save that so now if I type in the date as we usually would type it in, week four uh, of this term was starting with the 27th of the second, 2017. Now that's going to identify that as a date. If I double click it, it'll open up a, a little a menu for, for that month and I could change the date there. But I'll just double click it and go back to the 27th. Right, so there we go. So, and then we want to have blank columns. We want to have the weeks. So that will start. That was week four. Uh, we know that we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six periods. And this is where you'd put in your your homework. Okay. So the next cell that we need to do some data entry is in this one and so all you need to do is this uh, we need to enter in equals and a2 which is cell a2 and that's been highlighted there plus seven it'll add a week onto that so you can see that's updated and then we need these cells to be blank. So I'll just pick a cell that's blank, A3 is blank. And if I type in equals A3, uh, I can do the same thing here. So if I just cut and paste that, paste, 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 paste. So that's our one, two, three, four, five, so if we're going to have uh, each week we'll have the six periods one two three four five plus that one and then that will go back to this date right so to repeat this over and over again I just select that date here columns underneath the column underneath it for the six periods and then drag that down and you can see it's repeated 
the it's gone through and added seven days onto each each week. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here, except this is going to be the week. So this will just add one to that number. So this will this will be B2 plus one. So I'll type in equals B2 plus one. And that can be basically equal to A3 as well. Uh, we know A3 is blank. And a quick way to replicate it is just to drag that down. And if I check, well, actually it's gone through and it's gone A3 to A7. It's replicated what's in this bunch of cells, which is fine because they're blank. So now we need to replicate this group. So I'll start with five and I'll shift click down here and we want to have the um, B2 plus one uh, being replicated and carried forward. So I'll select that group and drag that down. All right, so I've gone a little bit far. I've gone past week 10, so I can just go up and delete them. All right, so now all we need to do is replicate the periods here and just have them repeat over and over. And the quickest way to do that is just to type in equals C2. Equals C3. And so on. Right, so that's looking good. And to repeat that, select those cells and drag them down to week 10. So we've got everything we need now and then you can type in your homework that's due. If you are looking at running over and you need to, um, if you'd like to bunch these up, then you can format the cell uh, and change the wrapping. So uh, change it so you've got overflow or wrap. Wrap just does that. The formatting basically here and uh, clipping, well, you'll only see it if you select the cell. You'll see what's written in the cell up here, uh, overflow could be good it just depends what you'd like okay and that's that's basically it in creating your homework tracker